Hello, I am now about three hours train away from Kyoto and I'm here at Mikuni with the beach over here. This is something that I definitely miss while being in Kyoto because being inland, you never really have any access to the ocean. Uh, the closest one would be Biwako, but it is a lake. So I don't think it's the same thing. But why am I here? Uh, because Mikuni is an old portal town that has a lot of old houses uh, that I want to show you. It's not, it's not a big area. It's not even popular, I think, among Japanese that much. So I think a lot of you might not have heard about it. But there's some onsen around here. Uh, there's the beach and then there are old houses so i think it has all the factors that uh, uh, makes a good uh, filming spot for the channel and uh, i mentioned in the previous video that i have a patreon page now uh, the page is basically to uh, have support uh, for funding these trips around japan uh, i like to do it at least once a month uh, probably closer locations but we'll see about that so thanks for those who have already uh, become a supporter on Patreon. I really, I'm really grateful that I get to come on trips like this and to film about uh, small old towns of Japan and not necessarily on like a tourist uh, point of view, but uh, for those who actually consider uh, having a house here or having a vacation home here, how you would feel like, how we, how it would be like to actually uh, live in an area like this uh, that is something I want to try to cover in my videos I'm now in front of the first Akia Bank property of uh, Mikuni town of Sakai city and uh, both of the properties that I visited they're actually in the downtown area of Mikuni and walkable front stations although there are not that many shops around and uh, here is a good example of why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover let's check out the detail of this place so first of all, we are now at Sakai City's uh, Akia Bank page. It's usually under the city's uh, official website. And then it's a typical look of Akia Bank page. Just list up the properties with a small picture. Uh, one thing I really like about Sakai City's uh, Akia Bank is that they show directly where the house is, like pinpoint. So you don't have to look around. For example, a lot of the other places, they would just show like the town name and you have to find the property out of this whole region which is uh, such a hassle so let's go check out this uh, ryokan that uh, I just passed by during my trip there this place is for sale for four uh, uh, four million Japanese yen 
and uh, it was available for quite a long time earlier this year but unfortunately uh, last week's few weeks uh, I checked it was already sold uh, so this probably is no longer available uh, but regardless let's keep going this was built in 1932 uh, early Showa period and about 300 square meters so you know something for the size like something like this in Kyoto City it will cost at least uh, three four times the price as uh, this place so really it's a lot cheaper uh, in the small cities of Japan it says it needs major renovation and obviously the person who buys it would have to pay for the repair and this is just showing like how many rooms it has uh, how far away it is uh, to the facilities like elementary schools the convenience store and it has been abandoned for over 10 years and there are some additional information here that they write down it was a ryokan before it was a kominka and then they usually also put down the real estate information real estate agent so you don't have to go through the Akia Bank page technically you can just call this place and see if you can arrange a viewing and go from there so you don't really have to go through the city but probably they will ask you you know where you found the information and uh, you can just say it came from Akia Bank or whatever but so there's a different route for you to go uh, other than going through the city and here is the floor plan uh, I think this is also very typical of a ryokan you know you have a lot of uh, separate uh, washizu 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 rooms and the hallway, kitchen um, this you would really it would really be hard to imagine you have all that behind this uh, facade, this exterior you know, it doesn't look like a ryokan at all. It doesn't even look like a traditional machia or kominka of some sort. But, you know, take a look at these photos. Like, wow, I mean, this was one of the house that, uh, although I didn't have planned to, to go to Mikuni to relocate there, but uh, for 4 million Japanese yen, I think this is a really good bargain. You look at the, you know, the rooms like they you don't have to do anything they just make instantly a good yokan room i mean you have to fix if anything's broken if there's any leaking from the ceiling but you know such a nice um traditional looking stairway uh you know it doesn't look like it's falling apart or anything and you have all these antiques you know probably each would cost a few hundred a few thousand US dollar to buy anyway um, so unfortunately it's sold uh, and then when I was passing by it doesn't look like it was being renovated yet so you know who knows maybe it's not being it's not sold yet it's just taken down I don't know but uh, uh, at least it's not being turned into a ryokan or something else yet um, but anyway this is the first place that uh, I visited and now just about five minutes walk from the first place we are now at the second Akia Bank property I would say this is the exact opposite of the first one because it looks great on the outside like a really traditional look uh, but the inside let's check it out so the second Akia Bank property is actually still available on the website number 144 here and then it is almost half the price as the first one only 2.3 million yen that should be under 20k USD uh, which is really cheap uh, built in 1930 uh, the land size is quite small but you know it's still big enough for like a family or using it as sort of a guest house uh, 100 square meters some degree of uh, renovation and repair is required and again the locations uh, that is close by and actually this one hasn't been abandoned I think it's been managed from time to time um, nobody lived there for a while probably but still people come back to check on the house and then it says here it is uh, registered as like a Fukui traditional type minka and I, I took a look 
and uh, basically there's some criteria he has to meet nothing too special it just says it has to be built uh, before 1945 and then some uh, traditional facade that uh, looks like these and these are some special types and then it doesn't have anything um, like uh, subsidy for supporting uh, people buying or renovating these minka so maybe it's just like a, a name value thing for people buying this and something very really interesting is people who uh, who buy or live here has to uh, be a part of the Mikuni uh, Matsuri so this is what the Mikuni Matsuri looks like a uh, bunch of historical figures of Japan they're made into floats and people get to carry them all over the town and I guess uh, the, the restriction says you have to participate be a part of this every five years which could be very very interesting lots of strange characters too I haven't seen <laughs> a pig a boar okay and typical floor plan you have six washitsu all washitsu and then no kitchen oh actually a small kitchen and a floor in the back and inside again I cannot see the house this time but uh, not so special um, retro style um, but you know these probably hasn't been updated for a very long time I'm not even sure if you can use them uh, the washitsu also look very standard compared to the ryokan that I show you so um, if somebody wants to make it to a guest house it has a great location and the uh, exterior and facade looks great as well and very cheap only 2.3 million yen one thing I forgot to mention in uh, Hokuriku region Kanazawa, Fukui, Toyama they're usually known for being very gloomy the weather always raining even if it wasn't raining uh, the sky wouldn't be so clear like today but uh, the weather today is just perfect and here we are in front of a old merchant's house it's open so let's check it out
there's like no one at all in this house so I have the entire garden to myself for the time being much here where I think it's the only one that's been turned into a guest house I have no time and money to be staying over this time but maybe next time so this is the website of the lodge the Kominka uh, I think per, per person is about one two hundred dollars to stay per night uh, there probably is also a plan to uh, just rent out the entire Kominka house and something very interesting is the the person who uh, produced who made this place uh, Alex Kao he's quite famous uh, in uh, renovating old traditional houses in rural areas of Japan and uh, he the places he made uh, really help uh, revitalize the, each of the area so very interesting Oh, like many other rural Japanese towns after a little bit of walk outside of old town area you have a shopping mall so not so good for the local stores but at least you get to uh, do some grocery shopping without having a car actually it's walkable <laughs> 